Thank you for joining us between two burrows. I'm your host, Kiki. And I'm your other host, Booba. Today, we will be talking to our friend, Dr. Michael Ingle. Here he comes. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dr. Michael Ingle. Hello, how are you? Thank you for inviting me to be with you. Oh, you're very oh, welcome. Oh, yeah. Dr. Michael Ingle, around here, our motto is all questions all the time. So, Dr. Michael Ingle, are you ready to answer some questions? Yeah. Absolutely. And please, feel free to call me Dr. Michael. Okay. Dr. Michael Ingle, what kind of doctor are you exactly? I am an entomologist, which is actually a bug doctor. <gasps> Whoa. So you like... You do surgeries on the bugs, if yes. they get sick, they come to you. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily do surgeries on the insects, but instead, what I do is I try to go out into the world and learn about their biology so that I can come back and tell you all about it. Oh, wow. that's what you're here to do. Absolutely. Okay, well, tell us all about it. What are bugs doing? I don't know if you know this or not, but more than half of all life on Earth are bugs. What? They are everywhere. What? And there really? are so many of them. What? So they are the predominant form of life on Earth. Wow. 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 So it's a bug's world. Yeah, and we're just we're living just in it. We're just living in it. Mm -hmm. So bugs are doing bugs are doing lots of stuff to, to help us. What what are they doing? Yeah. They're doing basically everything. <gasps> All the things that make our planet function are pretty much done by the insects. So the bugs are really out there keeping our planet operating. So for example, some are pollinators, and as pollinators, they keep the plants growing. That's producing the food that we eat, so we kind of need the pollinators to stick around and keep doing their job. But some are also recycling the soil, some are tilling the soils, some are actually producing gases in our atmosphere, some actually produce medicines that we use when we get sick. What? Wow. So like, some bugs are doctors. Yes. And you're a bug doctor. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Mind blown. Yeah, wow. Okay, wait a minute. <gasps> Dr. Michael Ingle, you said bugs are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Are bugs in my burrow? <gasps> Absolutely. There'll be bugs in both of your burrows. Oh. Wow. We got roommates. Yeah, I have a centipede in mine. His name is Charlie. As a centipede, he's probably eating up a lot of the pests and keeping your burrow nice and clean for you. Ooh. Thank you, Charlie. Oh, yeah, Charlie, what a guy. Yeah, he's very nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's your favorite bug, Dr. Michael? Yeah. My favorite bugs are the bees. And did you know there's 20,000 different kinds of bees in the world? And among all those 20,000, my absolute favorites mm -hmm. are these tiny little green metallic bees. They are absolutely beautiful, and they pollinate lots of different flowers. Wow, I've never seen a green bee. Yeah. I've seen green beans. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of those. That's but different. I've never seen a green bee. I thought bees only come in black and yellow. No, bees can be green, they can be blue, they can be red, some are purple or even gold. Whoa. Wow, a gold bee! I bet that's like a, a royal bee. Yeah, maybe a queen bee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Dr. Michael, since bugs help us so much, is there anything we could be doing to help our bugs? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there are a lot of things that we can do to help the insects, and by helping the insects, we're helping ourselves. One of the first things is we can plant lots of flowers, a lot of native flowers and native plants. That'll bring in a lot of the pollinating insects, as well as many others who just like to live in those plants. The plants will love it, the insects will love it, and we end up loving it. Well, I got a question. <laughs> all questions all the time. Yeah. Uh, what's a native flower? I don't know what kind of flower that is. That's a very good question. Yeah, so those are the flowers or even the insects, just the organisms that have always lived in that particular area. They, oh. they grew up in that area. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, by accident, species that don't necessarily live here accidentally get here. So for example, maybe you go to Australia. Yeah. And while you're in Australia, some insect or a seed gets into your suitcase. Mm -hmm. And then when you come home and you open it up, it ends up getting out <gasps> and they are thinking, what am I doing here? Oh, wow. yeah, it'd be lost to be like, I want my mom. Oh, no. Absolutely. Okay, so we, we leave the native plants where they should go, where and we make sure we plant native plants. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if I live in Wisconsin, I shouldn't plant a palm tree. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay, it's the wrong got place. It. Got it. Wrong place, wrong, wrong time. time. Yeah. Yep. 
Gotta be helping those bugs. They mm -hmm. help us so much. And hey, you've helped us by telling us about them. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us between two burrows. <laughs> Wow. It was so much fun learning about all the different kinds of bugs and all the different kinds of bees and what we can do to help them. It was yeah. my pleasure. Hey, see you next time, and don't forget to ask all questions all the time. This has been Between Two Burrows with Kiki, Booba, and Dr. Michael Ingle. That was fun. What did you think, Smiley? What would I give to have a smile like yours? Ha, <laughs>